Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today I will show you a stylish text animation inside of After Effects. You can use this technique to reveal awesome looking titles and logos also. It will be fun to create this animation. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with any settings you want. Give it a name you like. Now take the type tool, and type a text. Adjust the size. And align it to the center. For the text, I am using Arnold Sans font. Also, I am using a color palette here, but you can use your own choice of colors. Lock this layer, so it don't disturb. Now, right click on the text layer, go to create, and select create shapes from text. Place it under the main text layer. Now, turn off the fill, and turn on the stroke for this layer. Also, change the stroke color. Increase the stroke width, if needed. That looks fine for me. Now, open this layer, and add trim paths. Open trim path, and set the both value 100%. Then add keyframe on both. Now go forward to few frames, and change the both to 0%. After that, just move forward to start keyframe by few frames. Then we can see the animation. Select all the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistance, and easy ease them. Now open graph editor. Make sure you are in edit speed graph, and change the curve something like this. Perfect. Now make two copies of this layer by pressing Ctrl plus D and offset them by 5 to 10 frames. Change the stroke color for every layers. You can choose your own choice of color, or you can use this color palette. I will provide this with project file. After that it should look like this. It looks great to me. Alright, for next step, let's create another composition with the same settings. I am using the same colors here. Now, take the shape tool and create a shape like this. Make sure you select this option, Tool Creates Shape, and create another shape on the same layer. You can see the number of shapes here. And for the last shape, make it bigger. Make sure, these shapes cover the whole composition. Also make sure, there are no gaps between these shapes. Now for all shapes. Turn off the stroke. And turn on the fill. Also, fill the shapes with the same colors that you used previous. Color of the bottom shape, will be the color of your logo or text.
Let's delete the palette. Now select the shape layer, and search for warp effect. Apply it to the layer, and change the warp style to twist. Now go back to the main composition. And bring this to composition to the timeline. Make sure you place it under the main text layer. Now change the track mat to alpha mat. If you can't find that option, just toggle it from here. Or press F4. Now, select the composition, and press P to open position property. Then change the position something like this. And add a keyframe on it. Then go forward to few frames. And drag it toward the top. Make sure your text is covered with a single color. Otherwise it will look bad. Select the keyframe and press F9 to easy ease them. Adjust the keyframes if needed. And it's done. You can always change these values to get different results. Also there are lots of presets to use. And for the extra details, just create a stroke line according to your text. Change the color you like. Also go to stroke 1, and change the butt cap to round cap. Click 2 times on this plus icon and adjust the gap and dash a little bit. Now add trim paths on this layer. Then go to time when the text reveal is almost done. Then add a keyframe on both, start and end. Go forward to few frames, and change the both value to zero. Then just move forward the start keyframe by few frames. Now select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to Graph Editor, and change the graph something like this. And it's done. Let's create a solid for background. Apply Fill Effect to change the color. Change the color you like. Hit spacebar to ramp review it. Perfect. So this is all for today. I hope you get something new from this tutorial. See you guys in the next video. Till then stay safe, and keep exploring new things.